channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, I'm so excited to be sharing with you all exactly how to make a luxurious candle at home using coconut apricot cream wax. I have posted this video on my channel in the past, but I thought it's really important to provide an updated version with some new tips and tricks. So definitely stay tuned for the video and stay until the end. I will give you all some troubleshooting tips to make sure you're getting the strongest hot throw possible so that you make your customers come back over and over and over again. Let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to need, as you can see, is wig stickers. Yes, for the longest, I was using hot glue and it was a hot mess. So I highly recommend that you just replace that glue with some clean stickers. It's a cleaner version of the same solution and it does the same thing. You're good in good hands. So yeah, just put that to the side. You're also gonna need a thermometer. I recommend that you use like a more of a cleaner one. This has been through a lot, um, but I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below. But if you didn't know already, you need to melt your coconut apricot cream wax to at least 200 degrees Fahrenheit to make sure you get the most optimal throw. So just from there, you're also going to need wicks. I get this question so often. It is so important to people to figure out how to troubleshoot their wicks. Be transparent with you all. I use the LX14 six inch pre-tapped wicks from Candle Science. Um, I use it with my coconut apricot cream wax. Your wicks do depend on a number of things. They depend on your jar, your wax, as well as the, your wicks do depend on your jar and wax. I highly recommend that you check out Candle Science's wick guide, as well as do some trial and error on your end. Um, for me, this works really well with my iridescent auras, or the white auras, which we'll be using today. Which leads me to my next point. We will be using these luxury, luxury white auras. I wanted to make sure this video was in line with making a luxury candle line because as we all are bossing up, you know, this is boss vision, onward and upward, I want to make sure that you all understand the importance of providing a high quality product to your consumers. I thought what better way to do that than to incorporate this beautiful aura here. This really nice gold lit that I got from Macy as well has my fingerprints on it, but trust me, after we clean this up perfectly, it is all set. This luxury aura, this luxury white aura is really important to incorporate in your luxury line because of its matte white texture and its large diameter here, so I definitely say check these out. They'll be linked down below as well. And just in terms of that, I am creating a Zodiac collection, so you will see that beautiful gold foil here just to provide an extensive luxurious look because oftentimes luxury candles have a metallic t metallic font on them that are professionally made however you can create your own labels at home if you like and i'll link the video down below on my channel that goes into detail on step by step how to create and print your own labels using canva.com as well as your own printer so yes definitely check that out if you are interested in printing your own but in terms of a more luxurious foil i did outsource that and i'll link it down below and also you're going to need a scale you can get this from target amazon any of your local places just make sure it's digital the last thing you want to do is that old school one that has like a time you take your one because it's not getting you an accurate depiction of the weight and the most important part of your process is making sure that you are being accurate. Accuracy leads to success. <laughs> You'll also need some sort of mixing tool to mix your fragrance oil into your melted wax. I recommend using a rectangular spatula. Here's why. It incorporates the folding method that is not often used with other people who are struggling with getting a hot throw. It's similar to when you are baking a cake and you want to make sure that all those e ingredients are evenly distributed, you would not take a skinny toothpick to mix your cake batter. You would definitely grab a big spatula and in terms of a hot wax as well as fragrance oil, it's recommended to use metal. So I'll link this down below as well. You're also going to be needing some sort of container to put your fragrance in for measuring. We will be mixing two fragrances and I have a dedicated video on my channel that goes into detail about the importance of mixing the right fragrances that match well together and 
that'll be in the description just for you all to understand the basics because it's important to get the one-on-one -on -one before you jump in and create your own prayer <laughs> you're also going to need a pot like the tried and true classic double burner method so with that i have my burner here but you could just use your regular stove if you don't have a burner if you wanted to incorporate an electric burner i'll link this one down below very cost effective it's like 10 bucks at walmart and then you're also going to need your pouring pitcher this is imperative for the success of your candle you need a heat resistant metal pitcher that is focused in on helping your candle wax melt properly so i highly recommend getting one of these you can get this off amazon or from any retailer in terms of hobby lobby walmart michaels they all have them in person but i recommend just grabbing it offline you'll also need rubbing alcohol so i put my rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle uh that is optional but it does help just in terms of wanting to clean off your vessel you're able to easily spray I also grabbed a few additional things that you'll need in terms of paper towels. So after you do incorporate the alcohol to sanitize spaces, it's important to wipe that out so that the space is completely dry and the stickers can adhere properly. And then we are going to be making a Taurus candle from our Zodiac collection. And that comes with equal parts of black ice and gardenia tuberose, which we will be incorporating in this fragrance oil container we're using. So, Super excited to jump right into the video and share with you all how I do this. I think it's really important to make it update an updated version so that you guys are confident in your own process and set up for success. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. I use coconut apricot cream wax. There's so many benefits to using coconut apricot cream. Just because it is toxin free, phthalate free, environmental friendly, it will not provide any headaches to your consumers. And it's such a great talking point when discussing the benefits of the candle with your customers. So oftentimes people do say that paraffin candles have a stronger hot throw however coconut apricot cream wax straight from makesy.com has a custom formula that provides the strongest hot throw the smoothest tops each time and they are very good for your lungs so i definitely recommend this wax i mean it's so easy to use just with regard to all you need to do is melt the wax down to 200 degrees fahrenheit and then you Mix in your fragrance load. It's recommended to do 10%. And then from there, you cure it for 48 hours and that candle is good to go. You are in great shape. So here's my wax over here. I typically keep it away from this space here just for a proper cleanup. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I have my coconut apricot cream wax. And the first thing we're gonna do is cut that down into large squares so that we can accurately depict how much wax we'll need to put into this pouring pitcher. Uh, just in terms of our vessel, I do wanna emphasize that we do have the white auras from Mixi, which are a 14 ounce vessel that has a 12 ounce fill weight. So what we're gonna be doing is a 10% fragrance load, which includes a uh, 11 ounces of wax and then 1.1 ounces of fragrance. So that's a perfect 10% and we're just one, or 0.1 above the fill weight, which is perfectly fine. So just from there, we're gonna go ahead and chop up the wax and get 11.1 ounces into this pouring pitcher. Mm -hmm. before we're going to be getting 11 ounces of this coconut wax so i'm just going to go ahead and grab cubes and carefully measure your eyes tell me okay this is a prime example of getting too much so what we'll do is take a cube out and cut it you don't want to leave just yet no my eyes agree it's almost like a so we're getting closer we're at 10.8 perfect wait almost <laughs> it was at 11 it went back down so let's see there we go perfect 11 ounces so we are all set on the wax and we're just going to put that in the water we first met oh i don't care it's getting too late i want you and i can't wait don't want to spend a minute without you i know you feel the same so come on give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch. And 
before we add our wicks it is very important to sanitize the vessel so as you can see here we're just going to go ahead and add some alcohol in there and then i'm just going to grab a paper towel and carefully dry it it has to be dry or else your wicks are going to slide out and your customers are going to be pissed and they're going to write you a review on the better Bu business bureau and we don't want to deal with that because like we're just out here trying to function we are trying to function we're not trying to harm our business we're trying to make our business flourish i usually don't put the vessels uh, sticker on prior to but just for this video purposes i did so yeah just get into it taurus all right perfect now that that's completely dry double check the corners the corners is always where moisture is so make sure the corners are good. we're just going to go ahead and grab our wig stickers and take off this non-stick protector and then we're just going to go ahead and put our wicks on one second Boom. I try to make sure it's like less than like a few centimeters away from the corner you don't want it on the corner because that's the most awkward but yeah as you can see they typically come out fairly good you want to make sure they're far away from the corners and yeah we should be all set and just from there we can move on to our fragrance oil truly my favorite part i have a passion for mixing fragrances which i said before i'll link the video regarding how i do it down below but yeah this is not for the faint of heart don't just be mixing out here mixing but you have to really know what you're doing we'll be mixing black ice and gardenia tuberose here so i'm just going to grab the cup so as i mentioned before we're doing the 10 percent of fragrance so with that we're going to be doing 0.55 ounces of gardenia tuberose and 0.55 of black ice and make me want to say damn and yeah you know what's up ain't nothing i won't do i won't do perfect and then i just mix that up for like two seconds here for your body so give me all you got right now Okay, perfect now it is my favorite part we're just gonna go ahead and verify that the wax has reached 200 degrees and once we see that we're able to take it from the heat and mix and just from here I'm gonna add in the fragrance oil immediately straight to 200 degrees we'll mix for a full two minutes So good. All right, perfect. Now we pour. Nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me love. As you can see, we have a perfect pour because we measured it. Accuracy creates perfection. Perfection. All right, one last thing that I forgot. We need a wig clip. Oh, 
show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say. progress in terms of your business so if you are struggling to get a strong hot throw I do have some specific tips on ensuring that you do get one um, that really can be useful just in terms of your current state so if you are fighting with a scent and you're noticing that it smells great in the bottle but it doesn't smell great in your candle you may need to change your bender it's really hard to you know grasp or grasp the concept but some vendors purchase their fragrances from not reputable sources so it's important if you are getting a scent you know from let's say candle making and supplies if you're getting a vanilla scent from them and it's not as strong try virginia candle supplies same vanilla and see how they perform together or compare the scents together you'll notice they're completely different it just depends on their supplier so i hope that helps and then just in terms of your process i created two guidelines in terms of charts on recommended melt points and adding in your fragrance oil points for you to get the most optimal throw which i'll link down below and also if you're struggling with your business in, in as it relates to a hot throw it is important to cure your candle often we just want to go like just oh, i just want to burn it now cure it cure it macy with this coconut apricot cream wax does recommend uh less than two days like 48 hours however just in terms of getting the most optimal throw i recommend two weeks write down your recipes and tweak as much as you can tweak your temperature in your room as well that could also play a significant uh, role in the the cure time so often if your room is too cold your candle is going to cure too fast and the fragrance is not going to be evenly distributed so hope that these tips were helpful if there were please make sure you give this video a thumbs up candle making survival guide the specific digital ebook will be available on black friday so definitely stay tuned for that you can sign up to get notified when it drops in the description down below please stay tuned for my next video give this one a thumbs up like the video like the video like it definitely like it <laughs> and then i also want to um encourage you all to just you know enjoy the rest of your day your week your next hour just live in your purpose and love life okay bye Oh,